Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Facebook, YouTube, family and friends. Hope you got that smile on this morning. Sharing it with somebody. Whew, it's hot out, and I've got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. My air conditioner's not blowing in the house. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a problem. And I think what it is, is the input, the, the uh, line that runs, that blows to the, to the system. Because this happened last night. And, uh, but I, I reached up under the house, put my hand up under there, and it was nice and chilly under the house. But it wasn't in the house. So I don't think nothing's wrong with my unit. I think I've got to do some repiping. But I've got to do some running first. Unfortunately, I'm going to uh, do some quick running around and uh, come back and put my knee pads on and crawl under the house. See if I can solve the problem. Or, you know, duct tape it up or something until I can go get some piping or get in touch with my AC man. Whew, see what he can do or somebody. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out here in a little while. But right now, I gotta do some running around. So, remember, keep that smile going. If I can do it in this situation, you can do it in your situation. And uh, let's, uh, get the, let's get the day rolling. I'll see you in a little bit. Well, I'm back. And it's hot. I made arrangements for somebody to be around in case I got under the house and couldn't get out from under the house. Because uh, I don't do very well down on the ground. And uh, they said they'd look for my feet when they got here. Meanwhile, my air conditioner man called me back finally. And uh, I was worried about him for a minute there. I thought maybe he might be sick or something. Uh, he, uh, he just having, living out in the country and phones acting up, and he just didn't get my message last night until the day. And, uh, he's, he's gonna run by here. He's always been the best. If you live in Walker County and you got a, you got air conditioning problems, Gene Mayberry. You get in touch with me, I'll hook you up with him. Gene Mayberry is an air conditioner man. He said he had a lot going on, but he was going to run by here. And hopefully it's something simple he could go ahead and just take care of real quick. So, he just don't know how much he's appreciated. And, uh, thinking about it, he's pulling up right now. I'll be back, okay? Let me go out and meet him. Well... My hero, the air conditioner man's been here and gone. Uh, he's got me temporarily fixed. It was what I thought it was. Uh, but he had to, the way it, it was tore, he had to uh, cut so much off that uh, it ain't long enough no more. It was just long enough to barely touch together and you just barely go over one another instead of going where it should go like this he only got it to go like this but he taped it up real good he said he would have to come back with that duct work and he tried to get back today and uh, all depends on this stormy weather it's getting ready to storm again it looks like uh, So, I don't know. Uh, he 
he's gonna come back and fix it. But he's got it. He got it. Air blowing in the house right now. He's got it. He's got a jerry rigged up there to where he says he hopes it don't blow off. But if it does, I have to just shut it off again. But we will see. Anyway, I'm back in the camper because it, even though the air conditioner's running, it's got to cool off in there first. It's an awful hot in there. All right. Keep smiling. I gotta take a phone call. I'll be back. Well, you might wanna. Some people would probably say I'm a little loopy in the head. See how much I'm sweating. I've been uh, mowing grass since I got cooled down. It's been thundering and acting like the storms are coming, but the one hadn't got here yet. And I thought, you know what? I could mow 15 minutes or 10 minutes or something and come back and cool off and uh, go out and do it again. And I've done, done that two or three times. And I'm sitting here right now. now. This air conditioner is doing its job in the camper. Uh, I almost don't want to turn it off. It feels good in here. But I would say, I, the house, last time I looked, the temperature had got down to 84. And, uh, you can tell a difference from in the house and outside, but it's cooling off some more. I uh, will let it cut off and cycle at 84 before I cut it, bring it down anymore. So, I don't want it to work too hard to get there. Oh, me. Well, I really do hope everybody's sharing that smile with somebody. I had a chance, you've had a chance to because everybody needs a smile. I'm telling you, I never realized until back oh, several years ago now, you know, sometimes giving somebody a smile, let them, uh, I, just being glad to see them makes them feel better. So, look, I'm going to, I'm going to run again, and I'll be back again. I know you, I don't say, I, that's not nice. I know you said thanks for the warning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am slowly but surely mowing this strip out, out front here. It's good exercise for me. I, can, I mean, uh, it's just it's so hot. I don't need that. But anyway, I'm doing it. 10, 15 minutes at a time. And I'm walking it. So... Uh, I, I need to get some exercise anyway. I got a doctor's appointment Wednesday. And uh, I, I want to look at her and go, Hey, how you doing? I feel good. A little tired from working so much, but I feel good. <laughs> uh, oh, me oh my. Okay. Maybe next time I see you, uh, I'll have some dry clothes on maybe. All righty. God bless. See you in a little bit. Oh. Now I done finished all the work and y'all want to come up here? Let me knock your knee. Oh, really? Yeah. I done finished. I don't need no help now. No. Y'all can go back to the barn. I'm all finished. Oh, yeah. yeah, come up here after her words and want to help. Well, the day is closing down. A little bit cooler than it was. Chickens are trying to move in. I mean, the ducks. <laughs> My air conditioner. Man is back. What he needs to fix the system the right way. 
had to run the dog off one of there earlier from him. Now we'll have to run the ducks back. Y'all going back. He don't want no ducks under there with him. Go on. Mercy sakes, well, huh? Well, good evening, everyone. As you can see, we got it all moving. Even the high stuff inside the fence that I kind of been neglecting except for one little section and all that mode got this right here to do inside this part of the fence i got the fence sectioned off around the yard and uh if i run out of gas right there i would have probably got one ahead and kept working at it but it's getting late and i probably got enough light to finish it and i'm going to probably do it uh went next door had me a hot dog a hot dog and a couple glasses of tea <laughs> don't too hot to eat got me over got me eating them hot dogs and uh, hey check that how that light is back there <laughs> well, uh, Sun from rays of the sun going through the, trying to peek through still this late. All right, I'm gonna get this little list. I mean, about six strips to mow there, and that'll be done, and uh, all will be well. Took the riding mower and went around those fruit trees, and where I've got that fixed where you can mow it now with the riding mower, and uh. I wanted to just do that because I wanted to see how well it would mow with it. We're looking good back there now. But, uh, everybody have a wonderful night. Oh, by the way, air conditioner man's done come and gone. Blowing some cold air. And uh, some, a lot of air pressure blowing in the house again instead of out under the floor. Well, uh so the day didn't turn out too bad. I want everybody to have a wonderful afternoon. I hope you did share that smile with somebody today. It was nice to someone. Uh, God bless. And remember, Jesus loves you. It's just random things I do. Good night. Well, I know I done told y'all good night, but I'm feeling a little guilty and a little heartbroken. <laughs> this fella here, he's having to change his life up again. See, he's been making his way onto my porch and laying at my front door. But the problem is, he's waiting on me. The problem is, he ain't my dog. <laughs> I treat him like he is, but I don't feed him. I don't feed him anything. And uh, but he is taken up at my house instead of next door. And he's been. See, look at him. He's been uh, sleeping at my front door. He's been going under my house. Well. kind of what happened to my air conditioner he's a big boy and that duck work running under there well one thing about it he had a little bit of time there that he had some cool air blowing on him I mean there wasn't nothing blowing in the house <laughs> hey, my air conditioner man Gene he was under there and he was trying to get under there with him if i could talk dog language what he was saying was don't mess with that don't fix that that's a cool spot for me now uh don't mess with that and he didn't want to fix that but 
I had to, I took him back to his house and uh, put him on the porch and closed their gate on the porch. Time I got back over there a couple minutes later, so he, he was right back over trying to go in there again. And uh, this time, the last time he showed up to bring the parts he needed, the ducks tried to get under there with him. I had to head the ducks off. They were headed for the hole. So, but he's, uh, he, he's, he's, he's pacing all around my house. I closed the gates to where he couldn't get in over there. And uh, I blocked him up to where he can't get under the house. And uh, I feel sorry for him. He, he's just going to find the, he's going to have to go back to his old routine under under their porch over there. And still he's going up and he's walking. Look at him. I don't know if you can see him or not. He just walked right. He's going around back now. He's still trying to figure out how to. He's going down the steps of the back. Oh. I might just make this my own. It's own little video. Yeah. Okay. He's trying to figure something out. He's determined. There he goes back down right now. He's just going around and around and around. I'm sorry, buddy. Go home and get under your porch at home. You won't, you, there ain't nothing under there for you to hurt. You can't get under here no more. We got to put a stop to this. He's something else, I'll tell you. Go on home. I actually feel bad for him. I ain't got used to him being out there, but last night I tried to go out the front door. He wouldn't move. He's laying out, laid all out in the front door. And I've stepped over him many times. But I went to step over him. And it's a wonder I didn't hurt him or kill him. Because uh, I failed. Part of me fell on him. Luckily, it wasn't my belly. Uh, but he, uh, he just... He just right once right back there again. I feel bad for him, but hey, cause he just been he's been pacing my fence. He's been walking to my door. He laid at my kitchen door up here on the just the top of the ramp up here. Uh, I feel sorry for him. I don't know where he's went now. Maybe he went home. I don't see him. He's a good boy. He likes to get dirty. Well, he's a good boy. He'll let you know when somebody's out here. Nobody comes up without him letting you know it. He goes off before the camera does sometimes because they're way down the driveway. It's coming up. But anyway, it's lightning. Back to the... Uh, uh, north, northeast, uh, kind of to the north. It's, Quite a bit of lightning going on back there. That's probably a good storm. 
It look, it went around us earlier. It looked like it was going to get us, but it didn't. Oh, here he comes, see? There he goes. He's heard something. He's going to go check it out. Anyway, I, what was it, buddy? Hmm? Where were you at? I didn't see you up there nowhere, but you were on the porch somewhere. I heard you. I heard the. I heard you come down the ramp. Back behind me. Well, once again, keep on smiling. God bless. And as always, remember. Jesus loves you, and uh, it's just random things I do. Tonight I'm feeling sorry for a puppy dog. <laughs>